Hello, it's Carolyn from the Purple Poncho and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic granny square. It's made with double crochet stitches and some chains. So let's get started. I'm using my Furls crochet hook and it's a size H or, or 5.00 millimeter and I'm also using just some number four worsted weight yarn. So make a slip knot. And tighten down the knot just underneath your crochet hook. And we're going to chain four and bring your first chain up to your hook and place it on your hook so you have your first chain on your hook and the last chain that you made and we're going to make a ring so yarn over and pull through both loops now we've made a little circle so we're ready to start <coughs> on round one so chain three And we're going to place two double crochet inside the ring, right there in the center. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and that first chain three counts as a double crochet. I'm just going to slide it over a little bit. So now we have two doubles. Gonna make another one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain two. And we're gonna repeat this sequence. We're gonna place three double crochet inside the ring. There's one. two and three so I've got three doubles here chain two and three doubles so chain two again and three more doubles so we want a total of four sets of doubles and then four chain two spaces to get our granny square started. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, and I've got one, two. So we need to make one more, so chain two. And you can rotate your work around this um, beginning ring so that you have room to put your last three double crochets. So three doubles in the ring to finish off our granny square for round one. So I've got the four doubles, sets of doubles, and now I have three corners. So to end the round, we're gonna chain two, and then coming over to that beginning chain three that we did, we're gonna go underneath those loops here on the top, like that, and yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook too. And that finishes round one. To begin round two, make a slip knot and place it on your hook with your new color. Going across from where I ended my first round, I'm going to start in the opposite corner and make a slip knot or a slip stitch to attach it to that opposite corner, chain three, and then two doubles in the same corner space, and then we're just going to come right over to the next corner space and make a double crochet there, and then make two more 
one, two, chain two, and then put three doubles in that same corner. So every corner will have three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So for the next corner, and I'm just going to move this tail over and crochet over the top of it. Just do a uh, double there, and two more. chain two. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to put three more doubles in that same corner space. There's two and three. Come over to the next corner. Three doubles. chain two, and three more doubles in that same corner space. Two and three. And now we're back at our original corner where we started. So you can see it's only half of a corner because we want to have six doubles in, in each corner. So I'm going to finish my corner now. Work three doubles. One, two, and three. Chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three uh, that we started with. Okay, so super easy, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, come to the next corner, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, and repeat that all the way across and around until you get back to your original starting point, and then put three doubles, chain two, and attach. and we're going to repeat this over and over. On the next round we're going to actually work into this space with three doubles here, a corner which is again the three doubles, chain two, three doubles, and then three doubles here and then work the corner and then repeat all the way around. You can see on my example so we've done two rows so far so we've done just this row and then this yellow. So now we're going to go to the next row. You can see we're going to do the corner here, three doubles in here, and then the corner. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. It's really a fun project. So again, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. And I like to go in the opposite corners so my tails aren't all in one spot. Not that it really matters. But go ahead and make a, a slip stitch in the corner, any corner you like. Chain three, two doubles in that same spot. I'm in the corner. And then going into the space, just go right into that space, not the stitch, and put three doubles in there. And now coming back to another corner, three doubles in there. chain two, and three more doubles in the same space, making the corner. 
So only the corners are going to have the chains. Coming over to the space, yarn over, insert, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's no chaining in between, in between on the sides. And now we're at the corner again, and I'm going to put this tail behind and work over it. Working three doubles. Chain two. And three more doubles. So go ahead and repeat this all the way around and I'll see you back at the beginning. I'm back at my beginning corner and to end off again chain two and slip stitch going under the top of that chain three, yarn over, pull up, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And go ahead and end that off. And pull that through. So we have one more round to complete our little granny square. It's so cute. For my final round here, using this pretty blue, make a slip knot and attach to any corner with a slip stitch. And chain three. And two doubles in the corner in that space. And now we have two areas now. Each row is going to increase by a space on the side. So we're going to do three doubles in the first space. And again, three doubles in the next. And now we're at the corner again, and we're going to work a corner, three doubles, chain two, and three doubles in the same space. And now we're going to work down the next side. And you just repeat the same sequence all the way around till you get back to the beginning. Always working sets of three double crochet stitches. Now if you wanted to make this into something else besides this little granny square, you can keep going as many rows as you like and make it into a really big blanket. There's lots of different uh, things you can make with granny squares. I mean, endless. And I have several patterns that we'll be using uh, this little granny square with just four rows. So I wanted to make sure I show you how to make the four rows. But if you choose to make other things with it, that is totally fine. This is just to get you started. Okay. And three doubles in the next space. And three in the next. This is very fun. You can use up a lot of your scrap yarn you have, little odds and ends, and just do a bunch of little squares and then put them all together super pretty. Or you can just make one giant granny square blanket. It's fun too. 
but again you can make tops, purses, headbands, hats, I mean just whatever you could think of, cushion covers, all kinds of stuff. It's really a staple or a beginning item that most people learn how to crochet. Is the first thing they'll make is a granny square. There are several ways to actually make a granny square and I will be demonstrating other videos on different techniques of actually making a granny square as well. So stay tuned for those. Okay, almost done here. Three in the space and now we're back at the beginning. Go ahead and finish this corner. Three doubles. And chain two. And then slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And then end off your yarn. Isn't that pretty? They don't take very long to make. Isn't that pretty? So next you would weave in your ends. I can demonstrate a couple of that, the ends for you. So for the center where we joined our chain four at the beginning, uh, you just pick up that tail and just run it through the base of the double crochet stitches and I'm going in the center of the stitches so it's not going to show on this side that I have a string going through here or a piece of yarn so just use your fingers on both sides and feel where the needle is going so you can keep it inside the center of those stitches Okay. And once you go around a few times, just go ahead and end that off and trim your yarn. Now, for the other uh, weaving in the other ends, what I like to do on those is I like to go down, <clears throat> down these uh, stitches. Okay, and then I pick up a little bit of that chain ring that we did at the beginning and then I pull that through and I'm going down the very center of that stitch. So you don't want to pull too tight because you want it to be the right height. So I just came down the center of that edge stitch there. Oops, right here. <laughs> so you can't see anything in the front and you can't really tell on the back as well. But it's in the center and then I come up the middle of the next stitch. So I'm going to come over here. Here's my next stitch, right? These two stitches, or these two legs, and then here's my stitch. So I'm going to go in the middle of that, those two legs, and then I'm going to come up the center of my stitch, like so, and then I'm going to come up the top of this one coming across. So I'm not going all the way to the top, like this is the very top of my stitch. I'm stopping down here in the back. And then I'm going to come over here <clears throat> and go back down, but I'm going to come over here to my next stitch, my third stitch, and trying to stay in the center and in the center of this stitch those two little legs there. Okay. And pull that down. Not too tight. You just want it to rest there and I always pull it when I'm done to make sure it's not too tight. Because you don't want it to be a different height than the rest of your three other clusters here in the same color. And go ahead and end that off. So 
So that's how I weave in this center area. And let me just show you one more time. I'll show you on this green one. Okay, so I'm going to thread my yarn on my yarn needle. And I'm going to start by going up on this one. Okay, just up the center of that stitch. Bring that knot in. Okay. And then come down this next one. Again, trying to pick up a little bit of that purple there. You see that? But going in between the stitch. That's the second stitch but not pulling it down too far. Okay. And then coming over here, I'm, I'm working actually in that purple uh, <clears throat> row before. And then going into the center of the, my other stitch here on the end, bringing it over, and then weaving it up to the top. And again, not pulling too tight, and ending off. So I wove it in right here. So I went up, came back down, came over, and then went up. So that's how I weave in my ends. And you would do that for all the remaining we uh, ends that you have. So once you get them all woven in, then you can start on your next one. I really recommend weaving in your ends as you go. Um, it saves a lot of time at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this really, really fun granny square. Very basic granny square. So follow me at the Purple Poncho. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me today.